Uh, hi guys, um, welcome to another PHP series. Like uh, this, in this series, we will we'll discussing the super fast option for PHP PHP execution. So one of the option is uh, Swool. Actually, in uh, Laracan uh, 2021, March 2021. So Taylor Artwell actually gave a demo about um, Laravel Octane, which underlying uh, uses Swool Swool PHP extension. So let's go ahead and look at what is Swool and uh, in this video we'll just uh, do some uh, benchmarking uh, how how the how the request is processed in uh, Sool and how the request is processed in, in normal apache or in Genix, uh, php fpm fpm app uh, so yeah let's go ahead and see what is Sool. so Sool is a programming programmatic server for php with this in kio coroutines and fibers it also provide like uh, http web socket tcp udp unix socket and uh, also it provides an http server as well so it is a cli extension so you don't need to have a server to run application on php school so it provides http server out of the box so if you see it like you can actually run your application like this you can create a school server uh, on the start you will just you are, we are just writing this log and on each request we are just serving this response uh, hello world so i have this application running here uh, so if you come here i just run this uh, php index.php which is running school and i have another application which is a simple php application so it is also doing nothing it is uh, just having eco hello world it is a composer application but there is no dependency here uh, so it's just a simple application here and uh, so yeah let's go ahead and look at some of the benchmarking so you understand like uh, how much difference does it make uh, between a normal PHP application and PHP school application? But before even going to that, I just want to clear one thing. So what happens in a typical request, like uh, in a typical uh, Nginx request is, so request comes from the user and then it goes to Nginx or Apache server, Apache server, and from there it actually it goes to, if it is Nginx, it goes to PHP FPM, and if it is Apache, then our, it goes to our PHP application. So from the P um, from the both side it actually goes to our PHP application uh, from but from a different route. So for each request actually uh, these all things come into play, and then our application is bootstrapped, especially like Laravel or G or Symfony application. And uh, then once our application is bootstrapped, then your actual request goes to routing, and the routing actually map this request to a controller function, and then the response itself. So, and same thing for the response. So once user actually send the response, then this whole view is compiled uh, with any template command. It is either Twig or Blade. And then uh, once the view is compiled, all the applications are built. Uh, so it actually create an HTML, which is then fed to Nginx, and then Nginx send it back to the user. So it's a whole lot of process that actually run behind the scene. Uh, but in case of Swool, uh, actually, so there is no need of server. So uh, Swool is an HTTP. Swool actually provides an HTTP server out of the box. So you just run the server. So once you actually run the application, the, your application is bootstrap. Uh, you don't have to worry about anything. And then you just, uh, on each request, you just send, serve the response. You don't have to bootstrap every single thing all the time. Your application is kept in memory. So yeah, let's go ahead and and look at the difference in the benchmarking. So I will be using WRK worker. Actually, you can install it uh, using do and install. WRK. I have already installed, but if you want to install, you can do it. So the option that we'll be using is like, uh, so we'll be using four thread and we'll be using hundred connections. So the URL for a simple PHP app, which is running with PHP server API is one, two, three, four. And let's go ahead and run this and see how many requests it process in 10 seconds. Okay. So as you can see, like it processed 3,173. Uh, and there were so many errors as well and in total actually 314 requests per second so it actually served so i have one more application let me actually add it as well so this is a uh, nginx, nginx application let's go ahead and open this so let's actually run this as well see like what is the performance that we get from this server so this the first one is the php server api uh, php built-in server the next one is going to be nginx server so yeah WRK minus C hundred minus T four HTTP app dot lock. Okay. And uh, yes, let's go ahead. So the PHP server API was not that strong, so we don't have to worry about it. But this was a simple PHP app and this is actually a lot of a lab. So you can see the difference uh, because for each request you have to bootstrap and uh, then 
it actually reduces the number to 202 which is still pretty good but yeah let's go ahead and check this uh, soul app now and i will copy the url from here so we'll use the same 100 connection four threads and we'll use this url and let's go ahead okay cool now you can see the difference like 83,620 requests per second so this is the difference that we are talking about uh, when we uh, when we are switching from normal PHP or Nginx uh, pipeline to just full PHP uh, so yeah in my application uh, actually I have already installed uh, Swool and also Laravel Octane so first a few words about Laravel Octane is like so the problem with the Swool is like uh, the whole application is already kept in memory so for every request if there is any change in cookie session so it will be preserved in the application so but in case of laravel we don't want this so so what uh, in the laravel Lactin, what does is like so for each request actually it uh, does the cleanup and uh, and then uh, it prepares the application for the next requ next request so once the request request actually ends so it actually does the cleanup and prepare the application for the next request so let's go ahead and look at Laravel Octane here. Which, yeah, this is the Laravel Octane. Uh, so you can actually install it uh, pretty easily. Composer in, um, require Laravel Octane and run the install command. It requires PHP 8.0. So luckily I have PHP 8.0. Let's go ahead and uh, we can open this lab. And here I have app. Yeah, uh, let's open it in this window. So to check the Laravel Octane, actually it, uh, it can be run with uh, two applications. One is Swool and the other one is Roadrunner. Yeah, so Roadrunner.dev. So this is a Go app, uh, app written in Go. This, is, this also actually works with the similar principle um, uh, like Swool. So actually Octane provides uh, support for Swool and uh, Roadrunner out of the box. So you don't have to worry about it. You can actually go with either one, Swool or PHP. So for this demo, actually, I will be uh, looking at Swool. So we'll look at the Roadrunner demo in maybe in our next video. So for the Swool, uh, for it actually publishes uh, an Octane.php here. So we can actually change it to SWWLA Swool. So to run this Swool application, we have to run one command here and PHP artisan Octane start uh, but before that uh, we know like um, in a simple uh, application we actually it actually took two two zero two requests per second uh, per second which is pretty awesome but you can see like in in the school case it was eighty three thousand six hundred twenty so let's go ahead and uh, now check this application uh, laravel application with octane how many different does it make so we just need to do the php artisan octane start so it will start the server on HTTP 127001.8.8000 so let's go ahead and open this up as well so yeah so this is our server here let's go ahead and do the benchmarking on this server as well uh, and for that actually we can uh, close this application now we don't need that minus c100 minus t4 and let's run this now you just can uh, can you imagine the performance increase here so 1112 because it is at least 500 uh, times better than the um, normal normal application so yeah uh, this is it like uh, for this video from the next video we'll just uh, start exploring the school we will just go and um, set up this in our mac you can actually uh, actually this is only available for mac and linux for now if you want to run it for a uh, windows server you can actually use uh, sail or docker or some other utility like homestead and it will still work with you uh, but yeah in the next video we'll set up Sool in our development server and uh, then we will start building an application with Sool and we'll keep comparing the performance with uh, simple Laravel application and yep so you can see like in uh, normal Laravel application the request per second was like 202 but uh, in this case we had 1112 requests per second which is pretty amazing you can like at least handle millions of requests like um, traffic in millions per day uh, you know uh, so yeah that's it for this video see you in the next video bye bye cheers